Remember the old image of the forlorn stray carted off to a dog's home to wait in misery for deliverance or death? Well, that myth's finally been shattered. The new kennels and clinic opened at Battersea recently cost £58,000 and most dogs should be pleased to book in for a few nights. The new wing has electric underfloor heating, glass fibre beds and of course plenty of good company. Old timers who've been here before reckon even the foods are downside better. Other pointers to Battersea's new star rating, free medical treatment while you're there. And there are special facilities for families with block bookings. Yes, it all sounds like the perfect rescuer until you discover the awful truth. They're letting the enemy in too. And they were beginning to think man was a dog's best friend. Here's another unexpected mixture, a menagerie accumulated by this young lady at her home near Paris. Sometimes they all go for walks together, very slowly of course. The French seem to be just as pet conscious as we are. Young Bruno Gouron even takes a bath with his friend. But he obviously has to call a halt sometimes or he'll get a duck for his homework. We don't see many vultures flying around these days, but this is part of a daily demonstration by trainer Jacques Renault. His collection of birds of prey, including hawks, eagles, falcons and owls, are kept at the Kinsheim Chateau in Alsace. Animals can teach us quite a lot about getting on with people, but friendship was tested to the limit when this kitten adopted a brood of chicks. <laughs> 